My son doesn't know it yet, but I'm gonna swap out his AMD graphics card over for the Intel Arc A380 and see if he notices a difference since now I'm going to be installing the latest drivers. Now the latest drivers came out on September 2nd, so hopefully they'll be stable. Now the latest version of the driver is 31.0.101.3277 and .3276 is the latest beta driver. Let's see if these drivers will install this time. Well, it came back, so that's good. Installation complete. Let's reboot now. On boot, it still does prompt for the UAC control for the driver. And you still have to click yes twice. And it shows that we have the latest driver. So let's run 3 Mark's Time Spy benchmark again. Now just to show you the scores with the latest drivers, it increased just a little bit, but it could also just be if I ran it several other times that I might get the same results as I received previously. Now my main concern with Intel's new card is its stability, or lack of it, at least with the initial drivers. Now shortly I will have my son stress test this with a bunch of his games and see if he gets it to crash. So as he's doing that, I want to introduce you to our sponsor, and that is you by slapping that like button. Here my son is playing Ark Survival on medium settings, and as you can see, it has some pretty respectable frame rates here. However, when he had it on maximum settings, it crashed. Now this was interesting. My son was playing Rust for a little while, and it seemed to be playing fine. Respectable frame rates and everything. And here's the settings that he had it set up on, and then it crashed. The screen went completely blank, but as you can see, all of the lights on the system were still running. So I hit the power button to shut it down, and it went ahead and prompted and said that stuff was still running, and if I wanted to shut it down or cancel it. So we hit cancel, and then the game continued to play. Or did it? Because now Steam crashed. Destiny 2 is running at 120 frames per second the majority of the time here at 1080p with the default settings. Now with the highest settings turned on, getting between like 80 and 90 frames a second, maybe a little bit below 80 here. And here's the benchmark results for Tomb Raider. Now I know this is just a game, but I did tell my son that before he learns to drive and gets his driver's license, he needs to be able to play this game without hitting anything. Then I'll take him to get his license. Before I show you all the graphs for all the benchmarks that we just did, I need you to go ahead and drop a comment below on what games or software that you want me to go ahead and run with this card. And be sure to go ahead and slap that like button. Now, if it is a paid title, then I will go ahead and do a poll on my community page and let everybody vote on it. And also, if you want to help make that happen, feel free to go ahead and click on the super thanks button and send a tip. Or down in the description, you can also send a tip from there as well. And those proceeds will go towards purchasing the titles that you guys want to see. For the lowest frames per second, we will start with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which came in at 34 frames per second. And then Destiny 2, running at the default 1080p settings, got 118 frames per second. Now Destiny 2, with maximum settings enabled, got 67 frames per second. Now Rust scored 70 frames a second. And Ark Survival Evolve got 58 frames per second. Now for the highest FPS numbers, Shadow of the Tomb Raider came in at 78 FPS. Destiny 2, at the default 1080p settings, got 120 frames per second. Now Destiny 2, with the settings set to max, got 102 frames per second. Rust got 80 frames per second. And Ark Survival evolved got 82 frames a second so drop a comment down below and tell me what you think of this intel arc a380 graphics card is this something that you're planning on buying it's only 139 bucks now i'm putting together a playlist for the intel arc a380 gpu right up here thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video